Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming on. Just got an update for you guys on basically all the winter storms that are going to be happening this week and next week. We're not going to be doing an update on the entire U.S. in this update. We're just going to be focusing on this winter storm and the following ones. So we have about three more to go through um, until everything starts winding down. But um, these things will be impactful, and we're definitely going to be um, digging deep into each one of them. So I'm going to break down all these in your uh, update here. So as you can see, that it looks like it's this uh, system that's ongoing is pretty much halfway done. Um, it's still very strong, though. You've been dealing with some... Uh, thunderstorms, some heavy rainfall here in the uh, central plains, and then the northern plains and the north central. You've been dealing with a lot of that snowfall, moderate to heavy snowfall has been falling across the region um, for the f past few hours, and this is all going to move um, through the northeast, and it's going to deliver a lot of snow. We could see a lot of, you know, large snowfall totals, but again, um, around the southern edge of the system, I think those snowfall totals are going to be uh, very low, if not none. So, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. You got your times here if you want to look at those. But that's pretty much it for the current radar. So we'll just go on to your alerts. So we're not going to be looking at the whole map of the U.S. like we usually do. This is just the area kind of focused on the winter storm warning from this system. Um, so this, if you're not sure, this is Wisconsin, and then you've got Minnesota here, and this is Iowa. So you have the three states here of Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. So you've got a winter storm warning that goes out for Whitehall, La Crosse, uh, De Dubuque, uh, Prairie, Duchenne, uh, Decora. Austin, Rochester, Mason City, Charles City, and Waterloo. So, all these cities in, included in this risk, you guys uh, are pretty much up to date because this was updated just an hour ago. So, you know, this is pretty much the last and final, I, uh, I guess, like forecast for, for the sis, from the system. But um, it, it's looking like it's going to, the worst impacts are going to be. Uh, mainly here in the La Crosse and the Cora area. So the border of the all these three states, again, of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa, that's where you're going to see the most snow and probably the, uh, you know, worst impacts. But winter weather advisories go out for Minneapolis, Twin Cities, Eau Claire, Nensville, Madison, Wisconsin Dells, uh, Wausau, um, I think I'm saying that right, and then if I didn't say Madison, um, then yeah, that's pretty much it. But, you know, that's that's uh, pretty much all those alerts in this region. And then Rice Lake, you guys have a hazardous weather outlook. So, you know, that's pretty much it for these alerts. And we're going to be breaking down the first system. So this is the system that's impacting now, just so you guys don't uh, lose track, because we have... A lot of uh, a few systems that we're going to be talking about in this update. So I just want to make sure all of you know which one we're talking about in the timing for this. So this is this was four this was four p.m. E, uh, Eastern time today. Right now it's actually four thirty. Um, so these times are in Eastern time. I believe you guys are actually in Eastern time too. But um, well, let's get this going. So. You can see that a lot of heavy snow has been falling across mainly uh, Iowa. So I think Iowa could ha possibly have the highest snowfall totals unless this band of precipitation, which includes thunderstorms and very heavy snowfall, changes to all snowfall. This could really take the win of it. But um, you know, I think the most snow is probably going to be you know, like I said, in that same area with the winter storm warning, right in between these three states. Um, but we'll continue this into, like, the evening hours. And this does turn to snow for some of you on the western side of Illinois, um, but mainly on the back side. I don't think on the front side, like, when this, uh, like, comes through, like, it begins to come through Illinois, I don't think this is going to bring any snowfall, maybe a tiny bit. But on the back side of this, you're definitely going to get a few inches at least of some snow. 
Southern Minnesota, uh, it's going to be pretty constant snow, so pretty straightforward. Just uh, moderate snow for the entirety of this event. It doesn't look like it'll change to any heavy snow. Same thing for you guys in uh, Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin, the whole state, could get um, a lot of substantial snow totals. And then this does move into uh, um, excuse me, Michigan. This would be probably like very early morning hours um, of tomorrow. But I think the heaviest snow for let's back this up to Minnesota. For you guys, Minnesota, the heavy snow is probably going to be around nine ten uh, o'clock tonight. So if you're looking for if you're looking to stay up and watch the snow come down, I would really think uh, for you guys in Minnesota it would be probably nine thirty to like ten o'clock. But um, for, um, Wisconsin, I would say middle of the night for you guys, and then Michigan, let's get you guys in here. Michigan, it would be, like, 6 or 7 in the morning. Um, and then this, obviously, will move into the Northeast, but we, uh, we're using the HRRR, which is a model that doesn't go out too far. This only goes out 18 hours, but it is, um, very good information, so, uh, the rest of the system, there's not much else to discuss. It's just that this band of snowfall here is going to continue moving with the rest of the system. Because you don't forget, your low pressure is still trying to exit Ohio. So uh, you're definitely going to have a few more hours of some snowfall in Michigan and maybe even Wisconsin. Uh, after 8 in the morning, tomorrow morning. So we're going to head on to your snowfall totals for this event. Um, so that went out 18 hours, so we'll get a little bit higher, like a, meaning a few more hours in here for your snowfall. So we'll get 21 in here. Actually, let's go with 27. So, you know, 27 hours out, this is like up until like noon, noon tomorrow. Uh, the most snow is a little bit, it's showing a little bit farther south than the area I talked about. You know, this is... This was the area I was talking about. You're definitely going to get at least, like, three inches from the system. But, I mean, that's that band of snow that I talked about, that heavy snow uh, moving into Illinois on the backside. Well, this is what's there. And the uh, GFS really won't, is sticking with the idea that you guys in, like, northwestern, like, the south side of northwestern Illinois, if that makes sense, you guys could get up to like nine inches of snow, maybe even ten. So it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a possible major winter storm. I think it's gonna be an enjoyable system. It's not too crazy the snowfall totals, but it's far from plowable snow for you guys in uh, Illinois. If I had to guess, I would probably put my bet on basically just this whole section of northwestern Illinois. Um, if I had a second choice, it would definitely be in this area. But um, for this area I talked about when we were looking at the alerts, looks like you guys are probably going to get three, four, five, maybe even six inches of snow. Um, but there's two areas that look like it could, get, it could get the most, which is obviously northwestern Illinois, but also this little section here of southeastern Wisconsin. So you always want to watch that. Um, Indiana, there is a tiny little area that you could get like maybe six or seven inches of snow so that's not too bad just a plowable kind of snow day for you guys and then there's another darker shade of blue indicating that there is uh four to six inches of snow possible so those are pretty much all your snow totals from the system for the north central so we're going to now move on to the northeast so this is your part of the system um, if you didn't know already, I'm in Long Island here. Um, I'm actually on the northwestern side of Long Island. So we haven't gotten pretty much any snow this, this winter. I mean, I know like a week or two ago we did have a system that brought like two or three inches of snow. But, I mean, that's really nothing. So, you know, at this point I'm just hoping that there's no snow because there's already flowers blooming up here. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so let's discuss this. So this is the FE3. This isn't the H triple R. We're just using this so we can get the full 60 hours. Um, but let's get your timing down. So we're going to skip ahead to when this starts entering. Uh, we'll count the Northeast as when the storm enters Pennsylvania, I guess. 
So you can see that this is the middle of the night tonight, and you're finally getting snow and some rain mixing together around 2 in the morning. Um, and that will start to transition into mostly snow for western uh, Pennsylvania. But you can see that it's going to be pretty uh, moderate snowfall. So I think you're going to have some pretty steady uh, you know, snow shower, not snow showers, but snowfall amounts. But then this really ramps up as this low pressure kicks in. Um, but you're going to get a lot of very heavy snow, as you can see right here, um, of the border of northwestern Pennsylvania and southwestern New York State. So we're really going to watch that area closely. Um, but, you know, that's not it. This continues, and it's still snowing very heavily um, throughout central and northern, maybe even north northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, this enters New York State, looking like most of western New York State is going to get the most snowfall out of the system because you do see a few rain showers building in here um, on the eastern half of the state. Um, but that's kind of interesting to see. Um, but I don't, I definitely don't think that excludes the eastern half of the state from the snowfall. It obviously gets pretty intense. But let me backtrack here to like, you know, the the timing for the heavy snowfall for each state. So western New York, so the western half of New York, like the, including Buffalo, Syracuse, all these areas, and Pennsylvania, I would say all of Pennsylvania, the heaviest snow is going to arrive probably around 1.30 in the morning. Uh, oh, wait, actually, this is um, in the afternoon. So this is tomorrow. So I would say the heaviest snow for western New York and Pennsylvania is probably going to be like, I don't know, 1.30 to 2 p.m. Um, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and then this does move into parts of north like very far north uh new jersey i think that most of the snow is gonna stay like very extreme far north and then long island this does move into new york city starting out as all rain for long island's uh southern um new jersey and then new york city but then this actually does on the back side finally deliver a few snow showers, as you will have very heavy rain for the almost entirety of the system. We're already getting into, this is like Saturday, it's still raining, but then finally, this is 10 in the morning, so you're waking up, some of you might be waking up here on your Saturday morning, you're getting a good band of snowfall that will move through Long Island, all of New Jersey, and all of New York City, so... I think that this could be light to moderate snowfall, nothing more than an in half an inch. I don't think you're going to get anything more than, you know, an inch, unless you're living in maybe south central, uh, south central New Jersey, because we, you will have a little bit of a heavier band of snowfall here um, on the FB3. But, you know, it's just something to keep in mind here. But the timing for you guys is going to be like, 10 to 11, maybe 11.30 is uh, in the morning of Saturday. So that's pretty much it. And then maybe some ocean effect snow for the Boston area. It's not uncommon, but um, it's not too, you know, you don't see it often in the winter, but, you know, that's pretty much it. And this finally moves out. So, you know, a pretty strong system overall, but I think that the worst of the, you know, the worst of this round of snowstorms is going to be definitely later in the week and then next week. So, this is going to be your snowfall totals for you guys in the Northeast. Let me pull this up here. So, we went out 60 hours for that one. So, let me pull up the 60 hour mark. Yeah, that is 60 hours. So, as you can see, it's not it's not going to be crazy. I mean, you did see here was your band of snowfall I was talking about that was a bit heavier in New Jersey, um, but that that's not going to be more than an inch. We're going to start out here in Ohio. So for you guys, it's going to be probably in northwestern Ohio, topping off at like four or five inches of snow. So expect three to five inches of snow for you guys in Ohio, mainly on this northern half of um, the state and then for you guys in new york state 
northern New York State is going to get a lot less snow from this system. Almost less than two inches. I think it's mainly going to be farther south. This one is a little bit of a, you know, different setup from what we've been experiencing. But this is the snow that I've been talking about. I mean, this is nine, six, seven. This is between like six and nine inches of snow, maybe even six and ten. But it's for this whole chunk of western New York State. I think you guys could definitely get a lot of snow from the system. The um, Buffalo area, I think you guys could get up to two inches. I don't think it's going to be too crazy for Buffalo. Maybe some plowable snow, but here and there it's going to be some, you know, light and moderate snowfall. So, uh, southern New York State, there's going to be another band, maybe even heavier in southern New York State. So, like, I don't know if this is Poughkeepsie area, but whatever area this is, uh, 9 to 10 inches of snow. And this is pretty close to New York City. The cutoff is very close. If we were to have a minor change, you could see all this snow get dumped right here along uh, Long Island. But I think it's mainly going to be right here, this uh, band of purple and pink. That indicates 9 to maybe even oh, a little bit over a foot of snow. So that's a lot of snowfall for southern New York State. Um, Connecticut, looks like you guys could top off at 6 or 7 inches. 4 inches, looking like it's going to be for mainly central uh, Connecticut. In the Boston area, up to half an inch. Um, and then western Massachusetts, up to an inch. So those are pretty much all your snowfall totals for the northeastern U.S. I forgot about Pennsylvania um central it's it's going to be pretty scattered but i think it's going to mainly be up to seven inches which is obviously going to be here on the eastern side of the state because of this uh heavier band of snowfall that we that we're going to be seeing so those are all your snowfall totals from uh this upcoming system so this is going to be the last part of the update <clears throat> so um, we're not going to be taking a look at the GFS model, but we're going to be looking at the European model because it has a very interesting setup and idea for um, basically, you know, the entire week ahead. You know, there's going to be, I know there's going to be major snowstorms. I think that's definitely uh, likely. And it's de it's I think it's definitely gonna happen. But we want to I want to check out and show you guys what the European wants to show about this. So this is European high resolution goes out 340 hours. So we're gonna start out with your first system. So here comes your first system, and that shortly moves out. And then there's your snow on the backside. Look look how this drops to a 997 millibar low pressure, and also notice the track of the system. I mean, we've been experiencing a little bit of a different jet stream pattern, um, and it's gonna it's gonna affect the track of these systems. These systems always want to ride the jet stream, so you might have some systems that could start north and then drop south if it's a weekend system. Because what I like to say this is this is how I like to forecast snowstorms. If it's for this like month we've been seeing a pattern and pretty much actually for this whole year so far we've been seeing the pattern that during the week during the weekdays it's above normal uh the temperatures are above normal usually across the country but then this arctic uh front makes it back down into the northeast and the eastern u.s but that is usually friday night friday nights are the coldest nights you know with this year so far but I think we've been seeing that pattern affecting these systems wildly. Because this, the path of this system, the low pressure, I mean, it's staying a lot farther south. So that means that the potential for snow is a lot higher in these areas, a little bit farther less, uh, a little bit farther south. Because whenever you have a winter storm in pretty much any month of winter, the most snow is always farther north. So if your low pressure is dropping south, like farther south than Delaware, uh, D.C., then you're going to have a potential for feet of snow 
I'm not even joking, feet of snow here in southern New England. I think that you guys could get rocked just because of this whole pattern. Uh, so, like I said about earlier about uh, a minor tweak in the, you know, jet stream or something, I mean, that does play a huge um, effect on basically all the tracks and outcomes from these systems. But that is something that you definitely want to at least consider watching. But I'm going to continue watching no matter what. So, um, let me continue playing this and we'll get your next system here so starting out as all snow for looking like um all of minnesota and then all, pretty much all of uh iowa this would go for saturday so this is your saturday um you're getting some sleep mixing in there now this is sunday so the early morning hours of sunday you want to watch these strong thunderstorms you're gonna have a potential for some damaging thunderstorms here in the southeast. This one looking like it's going to be a bit farther north than what we've been seeing um, with these, you know, thunderstorm outbreaks. Not severe thunderstorm outbreaks, but just thunderstorm outbreaks. Um, and then this low pressure system is kind of dueling with this one trying to take over this whole system, which is definitely concerning because when these two, you know, when these two low pressure systems come together major impacts in this whole area so um let me get back to this and you can see that they kind of break apart but then notice how this one up here that i circled disappears it's all gone because this system completely takes over or the, sorry this low pressure system completely takes over the whole system rides along its own path very you know, unusual because it's way farther south than, um, you know, the jet stream here. And it starts as a, a looking like a lot of snow for this whole area I circled. But watch this band of very heavy rain, possibly even thunderstorms, moves through Long Island and New York City but then quickly changes to have very heavy sleet and snow. I mean, that, this is crazy. Look at this insanely dark purple and blue. That is like three inches of snow per hour, and the sleet is like coming down in insane amounts. And then this moves into New York City. It does move into New York City, Boston, Connecticut, Rhode Island. I mean, you guys are all getting on this very heavy snow and sleet and it's going to take a few days to move out but i think the main event is gonna be tuesday i think tuesday is what we're gonna watch but look as this is midday tuesday i mean this is the tw this would be tuesday 12z meaning uh, if you don't understand what that means that's usually if you'll have a 6z that would be early morning hours 12z is like at midday uh, and then 18Z is, like, overnight hours. But this is going to be a midday Tuesday system. But it's going to bring extreme impacts that could cause road closures, uh, maybe even school closures. I mean, I know I'm throwing out stuff, but it's going to get very windy. You could ha even have some hurricane-force wind gusts um, across, you know, Cape Cod and the east coast of massachusetts but it's gonna get very windy and dangerous out there so we really gotta continue watching this system but that finally pulls out dropping to a whopping 969 millibar low pressure that is very low we don't usually see that um far as the low pressure so that is why i'm saying that this system is very concerning then watch on the back side of this you're gonna get he some heavy snow also move into New York City. So, a few bands of, you know, some frozen precipitation, but there's still a little bit of uncertainty in there. So, that system for the Northeast look, looking like it's going to be a Tuesday, and I think it's going to be, uh, you know, late, late Saturday night into early morning hours of Sunday for you guys in the North Central. So, there's one more system I want to look at. This one looking like it could have a few more changes left because it's pretty far out but there will be a lot of heavy snowfall with this um a little bit farther west 
Um, but, you know, off the bat, you can tell, you know, this one could deliver a lot of snow to basically all the northeast. And this forms a line. It's pretty cool to see. A 995 millibar low pressure. Starting out as all rain for New York City and Long Island. Um, but then uh, it doesn't look like this will change to snow at any time. So that would be like Sunday of next week. So, you know, just another system to definitely consider watching. But I think that this one's going to have a lot of major changes in the next few days. So we're just going to look at this storm signal here, meaning that this is, again, this is the European model, but we're going to be looking at the snowfall totals. So these are all the snowfall totals going out 240 hours for all of the eastern U.S. So let me zoom in here so I can show you. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is like Iowa getting 19 to 20 inches of snow. Uh, southern Minnesota getting up to like a foot going, you know, this is out for maybe even, I would say the Chicago area could see up to a foot, 15 inches, more than a foot, maybe a foot and a half for central Illinois, uh, New York city, maybe up to five inches, um, 24 inches. So like almost two feet of snow here for, you know, the central and interior parts of the Northeast, but something to just consider watching. And something that we will watch in the next few days. So, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, like, share, comment, subscribe. If not, subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you guys in the next update. So, we'll continue watching these uh, winter storms. And I think that these have a chance to be potentially historic and maybe even life-threatening. So, we'll see you guys.